Afternoon everybody, it's Friday afternoon and the sun is coming out. The sun has been out today and um, it's warming up a little bit and it's been just lovely um, to see the sunshine. Um, and amazingly, for the first time in I can't remember how long, I'm on my own in the house. Um, because the others have all gone out for a walk with the dog and um, I don't know how long it will last I'm not quite sure when they'll be back because I've spent ages faffing around when I probably could have been recording but I was not in that place anyway I thought I would take this opportunity to pop on here and um, show you my progress with this sort of uh, growing journal idea um, so I wanted to make a journal that was um, super wonky. All my books are wonky, but um, I wanted to challenge my kind of preconceptions about what a book should look like in terms of page size and shape. Um, I'm not very good at getting things straight and perfect, so it's again embracing imperfection, but I sort of with my journal making I'd sort of maybe you know box myself in I don't know anyway I wanted to try something or oh, it's just a different style isn't it there's nothing wrong with a journal that has even pages and that's a practical thing this is not a practical book um, it's not a book that you're going to be able to really kind of carry around easily and I think what I did at the beginning was made a cover for you know a different kind of book so I'm not sure that this cover will necessarily continue to work with this, but we will we will see. And if it doesn't, I will use it for something else. But what I've done is I've made a conventional, a large, but fairly conventional um, journal cover, book cover, notebook cover, um, with my, you know, my favourite sort of sturdy fabric pockets inside. But maybe that's not what, what we need here. So I wanted pages that were uneven, torn, um, really grungy, and didn't sit in the the rectangular format of my book i think that maybe some kind of flip with um echoing these torn edges on the front of here um will probably help so we'll see so there's the cover which you've already seen um so i've been working on some pages i'm not finished um but i feel like today I'm actually getting somewhere with it and actually what I had to do was stop and clean up um I had the most horrendous mess going on um I don't have a huge amount of space and storage space um I'd acquired quite a lot of things recently um and everything was everywhere and I have for the most part conquered the chaos um I've got like one remaining box of um bits and pieces that um you know the bits that are left at the end that still need to find homes so i will continue to work on those so what i've done was i had a great a big kind of legal envelope which i've stained and messily torn apart um so i had a couple of those Take this all apart now. um so with one of those, I've collaged. Um, so I sewed across there um, where the envelope, well, it joins on the other side, actually. I should have done another line. Um, and then I've collaged with some brayered packing paper, some of this lovely um, natural handmade paper. And this is like vintage wallpaper. It's like 1960s, I think, um, there. Another piece of that vintage wallpaper going down the back page. Um, and then just the handmade paper inside. And I'm not entirely pleased with the effect that the matte mediums had on that in terms of, I don't know, some of it's translucent and some of it isn't. It looks a little bit strange to me, but um, there you go. I used matte medium for that. And then I've done a lot, quite a lot of sewing, um, sort of patching this uh, onto there and sewing the edges down. Um, so that is at the moment looking like it's going to be the signature cover. So this one here um, is just a piece of stained then jelly printed 
copy paper. Um, this is packing paper where I was doing the stamp off from my block stamp and um, I've put clear gesso on both sides of that. Here is another piece of that um, envelope and I want to maybe collage the edges in the same way, although it might be nice to have it just like that and do something on one of these straighter edge pieces, we will see. Um, this is a piece of file folder. Um, again, I actually coffee stained. I usually only tea stain because I don't particularly enjoy the smell of the coffee as it kind of ages and goes. I don't mind it when it's fresh, but when it gets a bit sort of staler, I don't particularly like that smell. Um, uh, if anyone knows how to get rid of it, um, I'd be grateful. Um, but I did because I wanted on these you know, brown file folders, the tea wasn't giving enough contrast. So I've got some nice uh, grungy marks. This is a, um, sorry, I'm going too far up now trying to stay in camera. This is uh, just a, a public domain printable. It's like a, a advertisement for a seed catalogue. And that is sewn onto tea stained vellum um it's done you know imperfectly and wonkily but that makes a nice texture excuse me i'm just putting my chair in this is the um sort of book cloth experiment gone slightly wrong um stitched together paper and fabric um and then i've got some like buff paint on there as well um it was tea stained or not tea stained, it was distress ink stained. Um, I think it's rice paper. Um, I can't actually remember. It might have been deli paper. I can't remember what I was trying to stick to. Anyway, it went very wrinkly. Um, this is not vellum, this is just tea stained paper on this side. I'm gonna need to do some inking around these. Um, so yeah, so that I'm gonna sew up into pockets there. Those, I think, will flip over into pockets there and um, and so on. Now I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I've got nine pieces there. I don't think I want to make this too big. I'm going to do just a single signature, I think, because I want to focus on the, you know, the pages. Um... So I don't think I want too many more um, pages. I have got, and this is going to bulk it up quite a lot, but I've got these um, tea stained, um, it's mixed media paper, it's quite heavy. Um, and I was wondering whether a couple of pages of that with that and this edge left rule and this edge um, as a flip over. So what I'd want to do would be, let's have a go, let's get my tear ruler and see if I can tear this successfully. So I want to get this edge all the way down both sides basically. Oh yeah. Oh, I'm so sorry. I just hit the camera with my paper. So that's roughly the... Where I want to fold it. 
I did have, I do have. So yeah, I've been tidying up. Um, it was, it got to the point where I didn't really feel I could do anything much. I've been doing my collage fodder every day for my 100 day project. Um, and yeah, that's totally still flowing and enjoyable. But in terms of sort of focusing in on anything else, I just had too much stuff everywhere. Um, yeah, and um, it was getting on top of me. So I've had a really good tidy up. I did clear out not long ago, so there was not a lot to throw away. Um, and part of it, if I'm really honest, has been that I've maybe been buying a bit too much stuff. And I need to stop because I don't actually need anything else. And I don't, oh, I like that. And I don't have room for it. So that's looking quite nice. So let's do let's do another one like that and we can make it go in the opposite direction when we bind it. So the tail ruler. So yes, I've put everything that has a place back in the place. Um, you know, made a few reorganizational decisions because your creative space is in a, con well, mine is in a constant reinvention of maybe this will work better, maybe this will work better. Um, and I think that's how we do it. And we see other people and the way that they store their stuff and we get, you know, inspired and we try things out and, you know, different things work for different people. So you can't, you just have to try and find what works for you. And I've got a lot of things storage wise that are, working quite well so we will see So we're swapping to voiceover now, as everybody came back from their walk. Um, they had been to the cake shop though, so I didn't mind too much. But as predicted, I started recording just before they got back, which is typical. So I'm taking this piece of file folder um, and I'm trying to work out um, some collage now for the edges. And again, I want to try and make an interesting edge um if i can so i'm gathering together bits of painty papers bits of printed paper vintage wallpaper again and my current favorite um handmade textured paper um and um i'm just trying to work out some kind of composition if that's the right word for edging a page it is a composition of sorts um yeah so i'm just wanting to um get some interesting shape on the edge um, and again add interest to the edges of this journal. Now I must apologise for the state of my fingernails. As I'm looking at them here I can see that they are pretty grimy looking. It's paint and ink. I have washed them but I'll need a really good scrub when I've finished playing around for the day. So um, I'm remembering now that um, I don't like the back, the texture of the back of that vintage wallpaper. So what I'm ending up doing on this is going for a slightly less uneven edge uh, off the edge of the actual page um, so that the um, torn edge of that wallpaper, the, beh the back side of it is covered by the um, handmade paper. That way I don't have to fuss around too much on the other side. Um, I am using um, a frayed burlap distress oxide again to just edge. It's just the printouts that need, um, that need edging. Everything else is um, sort of paper in its own right, if that makes any sense. Um, and the only ones that are to my eye wanting a little bit of ink 
are these the ones that I've um that's a deli deli jelly print that I've scanned and printed out a few times um for these collages collage pages um yes so I have a much much tidier space to work in um I am really really pleased I did it um it took quite a lot of energy um to get it done and thereby limiting my energy for uh creative pursuits and time um but i feel much much more clear headed um and much much more able to sort of think in a straight line and focus on on a project on a on 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 one or one or two things that i'm doing um so yeah it was it was well worth doing and um i i say i'm going to try and keep it that way i know that if i get into some kind of creative frenzy um it will all get undone quite quickly but i think i've created more um places for things to to live if that makes sense so that when i um do make a mess things are going to go be put away more easily um i've bought a few extra storage boxes and bits and pieces and also trying to create sort of like a a, a current project box that that is sort of what's out and then be more disciplined about putting all that stuff away um at the end of that project before i start to sort of collect um materials for the next one so I'm thinking about this this journal and what else I want to do in it. Um, I'm not entirely sure um, how this journal would be used at the end, but um, I definitely for a creative journal, whether it's for art journaling or sort of creative journaling with some writing. Um, I mean, it's not going to be a, a, a just a writing journal for sure. Um, it's not going to lend itself to that. So I'm thinking maybe it would be a journal that you would send with them. Um, like um some more paper and things elements that you've used so that the the owner could then continue to to work on that theme if they wanted to um so i definitely want to add some fabric elements there's not much fabric um it's quite a lot of stitching already because i've stitched um the other collage pages that i did and this one is going to be stitched um all around as well um so you there's already that element in there but there's no real sort of textile in there at the moment so i've grabbed a fresh sheet of this handmade paper um and as you can see this time i'm going for a slightly shorter approach by just i'm just going to lay that down behind and off the edge of the page slightly and then work off that as a base which which makes it go a bit quicker I'm really enjoying this project. Um, it's something a bit different, something new. It gives me a challenge to sort of think through and work work out how things are going to work and what I'm going to do. Um, and um, I'm really enjoying that. I'm in really enjoying these colours, this sort of mossy green and the burgundy and the browns. Um, I had added some Payne's Grey when I was jelly printing um and making painty papers but um i've decided i don't like that um and that um i went back to to brown as the sort of neutral that i was using with them um and i like that much better that is some craft paper that's been jelly printed and then i've punched the little flower shapes out i don't particularly like the punched shapes but i love the uh, negative space and i Put these on instagram saying why do i prefer this to that and somebody responded to my post saying oh it's because it's what it reveals it reveals something behind and i think that's really true that's absolutely why i love them you get a peek through to what's behind and just aesthetically to the eye they just to me look i don't know i just like the way they look better than the actual shapes themselves i try to lay down the the cut shapes and i don't particularly like the way they look but I have no problem using the negative space. So there you go. Maybe somebody else can use all my cut shapes and I'll just keep the uh, the, 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 uh, the outsides. 
So this last bit going down now, and we're nearly there, um, I'm going to go off and stitch this in a minute and um, I'll be back hopefully soon um, with uh, more instalments on, on, on this, 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 this sort of shabby, wonky journal. Um, if you're still here watching, thank you ever so much. Um, I really appreciate um, the fact that you're here, the fact that you're taking the time out of your day to listen to me chanter on. Um, I really appreciate people's comments and likes. Um, do come and find me on Instagram. Um, my posting of videos and on Instagram is a bit sporadic. Sometimes um, there's a lot going on in life, in my life, and sometimes I just don't manage to get to it um, for a myriad of reasons um, of things that might be going on with my family or with my own uh, well-being and health um, but I do absolutely um, really enjoy sharing these videos um, and I really appreciate that there are people who, who enjoy watching them watching them too so here's this last bit going on here now a little bit of art glitter glue and there you go So do give me a like. Please do subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and I'll see you next time. Bye.